So sorry for the uh, brief hiatus there, I missed a, week, <clears throat> a week's episode because to be honest we've just been flat out trying to get the panelling done in the saloon. Um, so that's now pretty much done, it's about 95% done. There's a few kind of awkward spots that I'm leaving and moving on to the galley next but um, in this week's episode we're going to go over that and there's also some cool stuff happening on, on the marine at the moment so we're going to go and have a look at that too. But um, yeah, so enjoy and I'll see you after. <laughs> I'm Shane and I'm doing this. Carl down today to give Reese an old hand doing some of the, the lovely panelling here inside in the inside in Zora. I'm probably more of a hindrance than a help, but he's humouring me. And we've all still got all our digits. So it's been a good morning. First slash afternoon now. Yeah, we're just cutting all these awkward shapes and Shane's helping me while I sit in there nailing, he's cutting the next piece. It's actually going well. We'll uh, put this piece in now. It's quite nice, so um, we're going to do a trim around here, and, and this will probably be under a bunk and or under a shelf. So uh, it's a nice sunny day, though. It's an absolutely cracking day. It's too good of a day to be uh, doing jobs, really. Nah, we'll <laughs> drink a few cans there in a while and be fine. Good job. <laughs> oh, cool crack. So we're just coming into day two of painting. So Neve's painted the uh, bulkhead and the midships and she's painted the first section of the tongue groove there for the cladding. Um, we're gonna move on now, we've used a nothing solution so you can see the, the white stuff there and thanks to uh, John Edwards for that little trick. Uh, one of the commenters said to use nuts, nut solution. Um, so I really appreciate that. Um, so the next steps will be to clad out this section here and I'm having a little bit of trouble figuring out what I'm going to do around the windows but I think I've got it figured out now. We've got a frame that goes around here so I'll just cut the tongue and groove out and, and seal it all around there in case there's a leak in the window. Um, and yeah I think that's that should be enough and it should look pretty. We'll probably get a, a timber surround to go around that stainless surround too um, but that's that's it all down in the finishing when we'll do the finishing. Um, I'm also going to put a tongue groove cladding on that wall there um, I just don't like the, the solid colours, so we're just going to go and tongue groove that too. So yeah, the saloon is coming together really well. Um, galley has also started painting up the galley frame. Um, just throwing time at it really. There's the nav station, which is mostly done. Um, you can see actually there's like solid planks of ply. So it's pretty much solid ply behind that tongue groove, because there's a huge amount of stuff screwed to that. And that tongue and groove um, pine doesn't hold a screw as well, or at all actually, compared to the plywood. So, um, 
yeah, it's not such a big deal in the saloon because not a lot of stuff is going to be uh, pulled to the walls there, but there's going to be a lot of stuff in the electrical cabinet. So we're going to crack on and get some more of this work done. This is, this is kind of the stuff you just throw time at. There's not as much thinking in this because a lot of the thinking would have been done before we put the insulation in. So now it's just throwing time at us um, and making some progress. So uh, we'll get to uh, get to work. bit of a template for this um, this bunk top. I'm going to make it out of 18 mil ply because the 18 mil ply will be that bit resistant to uh, flexing and if somebody sits down on it it's not going to just flex. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make the side templates so I've just got a bit of um, 12 mil ply on or it's actually 9 mil and I'm just going to make the sides as I would with the with the bunk top. Um, screw them together and then I'll have the angle because I think they're just slightly off 90 degrees and nothing is really perfect in here. Um, and then I'm going to use my spiling stick to uh, find the curve at the back there because this wall here is very slightly curved. i uh, finished this um, tongue grooving on this wall here and I've got a guy coming in to do the trim. Um, any of the finicky kind of hardwood trim I'm going to get someone to do. I uh, found a guy who's been working on boats for a long time so um, yeah, and he's looking for something to do so. Um, yeah, so I've finished this forward uh, bulkhead with, with the cladding, mostly. There's a few little things to do, but they'll take a bit of time, so I'm just going to drive on. Um, and I'm going to make this template, so I will spile this out and then we'll cut it out of 18mm and see if it fits. So this bunk top is now in place. Um, it actually slotted in absolutely perfectly first time, so I'm really happy with that. Um, any, there's like a little bit of a lip on the corner here, so it's a little bit out in one spot, but instead of like taking it off the back side, I'm just gonna run a, um, a flush cut bit on the router along the front here when the time comes to put the trim on. So a few, a few people are kind of wondering uh, where I'm going with the interior build and how it's gonna look. So you can see now we've got the white painted uh, tongue groove a few, pe few people were saying to do varnish, but um, honestly, I just, I don't like the dark kind of varnish look because it just makes everything feel really kind of dark and damp or something. I don't know, I've never liked it. So we just painted this hung groove um, to bring a bit more light down here and it, it really worked. So <clears throat> what we will do to kind of accent that white and to make it a little bit nicer is to have some really heavy mahogany trim on all the different aspects to cover the edge grain. So on, instead of leaving this like this with a mattress on top, um, we'll have like a really nice heavy mahogany trim goes along there. We'll probably have a little combing down here as well. Um, and any of the joins where the tongue groove meet on the, on the wall, we'll have, um, we'll have like a, a mahogany trim on those as well. Anywhere there's like the door as well, um, the hatchway, any kind of edges that look rough, we'll just cover those with a trim. And um, I've seen it done before and it looks really, really nice. So the next step here is to cut out the access panels um, to get into the storage in the bottom. The way I'm actually going to do the lockers is, um, so this tongue groove only goes down to the top of this bunk. So it only goes, well, it goes a little bit further down. Um, but what I'll do is put like a, 
a sheathing, very thin sheathing, like three mil plywood. I haven't really figured out yet, maybe some kind of plastic. Um, and I'll cover the plating and the hull um, in the locker with that so that I can take it out really easily. So this should be able to come off easily. So I'll unscrew it and take it out and I'll be able to access the plating in any of the awkward places in the hull. Um, the places that are spray foamed, we're not gonna be able to access that, which is fine. If down the line I'm really worried about rust in certain spots, I can take a core sample with a, with a hole saw and have a look. So I'm not too worried about that. So we'll crack on, we'll get these access panels cut and next time Neve's down, we can uh, get this all painted. She's in charge of interior design. So uh, I'm just the lackey knocking things together. So um, yeah, I'll mark these out, cut them and we'll get that done. So now that the saloon panelling is done, um, the kind of saloon is really starting to come together and be a really cosy place to be. Um, but there's something really cool going on in the marina now at the moment. So it's the Figaro uh, Solitaire, it's a single-handed um, race from France that comes up to Ireland and they do three or four different legs um, between Ireland and France. So I'm going to try and blag my way out to get on a boat to go and watch the start from Kids Ale, so they've been here for a few days. Um, so yeah, we'll take a walk around, we'll have a look at some of the boats and kind of see what's going on and then we'll, um, we'll try and get out and watch the start, so let's go and do that. Wildcat 40. It's a catamaran, so it's a fishing catamaran that's been kind enough to take me out to the start line. So um, we're going to go out to the start line and watch the Figaro's leaving. Um, quite a few boats going out now to go and watch. It's pretty cool actually. It's uh, a really, really good buzz around the place and stuff like that. So yeah, we're going to go out and watch the start line and have a couple of beers and uh, yeah. See my boat there now? See Zara? It's looking regal there now and nice and pretty with all our new neighbours.
head knows they're going around the first mark and they're heading back to the sovereigns and um, got some really good photos and some cool video so hopefully you guys enjoy it it's a pretty pretty uh, big experience for us to be here in the middle of it all um, it's just oh, it's mad it's mad i'm gonna go and take some more photos and get some more video because i can see tom dolan and he's uh on his he's got his spinnaker up flying out offshore now so i'm gonna try and get some snaps of that but um Oh, it's so cool, so cool. So that's all I have time for in this week's episode. Um, I mean, as you can see, we've got a huge amount done now. I mean, the saloon is looking really nice, um, really homely. And as I was saying earlier, you can hear by me talking, this boat way, way cozier. Like, there's no mad echo, there's no... Ah, it's, just, it's so much nicer in here now, I actually can't even describe it. So the next really big thing for me is to get the, um, the galley kind of functioning a bit better. So right now we're just using like an old camping stove and stuff like that. So I have a cooker that I bought, so we'll go through all that in the next episode. Um, so I want to get that on its gimbals, I want to get that hooked up to some gas. Get some proper storage in the galley because right now all of our food and everything is gathering dust and um, it's a bit of a pain in the ass so we're going to try and get that done next. Uh, following on from that then the plan will be to do like electrical stuff so kind of finish off the lighting, um, get some like proper electrical circuits in here that can run on switches and things like that and that's that's probably the next big thing. Um, get some batteries in and, and like the chart table as well so that's kind of the plan is to get the mid section of the boat done and to move from out from there. Obviously we've no heads and we've no tanks and all that kind of stuff so things like that need to come later on but um, for now we're just focusing on making it a bit more comfortable. Um, for anyone who's interested in learning more about the installation, so we have a blog. Um, I wrote a blog a little bit a while ago about different types of insulation for steel boats, why we went for um, the spray foam and there's other options that are there as well. So that's on the blog on the website. There's a couple of more blogs that Neve's been writing as well, so definitely check that out. If you're a patron, I really, really appreciate everything that you've done. It's fantastic to have the, the support there, and we really, really do appreciate it from a moral point of view and obviously from a monetary point of view as well. So really, thank you very much. And if you are involved, want to get involved with the project, um, check out Patreon as well. We do a little bit more on Patreon with um, behind-the-scenes stuff, and kind of you'll see kind of, a little bit more progress as, as it happens. So again, that's all from me. I'm going to try and get this video finished and get it out to you guys soon. Um, I'm also very, very tired, so I'm going to go to sleep. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode.